Randy, talk about the target methodology, please. Hi, everybody, and welcome. Uh, today, we're going to talk about an uh, idea that was um, brought to my mind by a guy by the name of Covert Bailey, who created something he called the target live it. He preferred to use live it rather than diet. And what he said was that when you're trying to dis make decisions about how you should eat, you go to the center of the target and do the best you can. Now, this methodology can be applied to a number of different things, and I use it to determine how we should deal with corporations, and I want to explain some of that to you today. At the very center of the target, at the very center of the target is you, okay? When you uh, are, are getting the things that you need in life, as much of your own as you can. So when it comes to food, you grow it. Okay, grow as much of the food you can for yourself. Don't buy the corporate stuff. Don't get the stuff from the farmer's market. If you can grow it yourself, grow it yourself. That's the bullseye. You want to make your own clothing if you can. You want to make your own furniture if you can. You want to make everything yourself, okay? Reuse. Take the things that you have in your life and reuse them. Uh, do them over and over again. Like. If, you happen to, if you're using bags, use them more than once. Use them over and over again. Uh, if you're going to get jar, food with jars in it, use the jars over and over again. Uh, and then this is repurpose, okay? Find other methodologies or other things you can use your things for. One of the things that I do is I take old containers uh, that I get out of recycling bins or from my house on the rare occasions that I actually get some of that kind of stuff, and I use it for something else. Um, for instance, we, I uh, dumpster dive and I get buckets and I use them to carry water and if they're not good enough to do that after a while, I use them to plant things. Okay? So you, yourself, that's the first thing you do. The second part of the circle it is your family. Get things from your family. What your brother grows, what your sister grows, what your mother or father grows, what they make, what they reuse, or get stuff from them to reuse, and then repurpose their things as well. First yourself, the second ring of the bullseye, as much as you can, is your family. Uh, and next is your circle of associates outside of your family your friends, and this is where you have uh, exchanges with them for the things that they grow, the things that they make, the things that they reuse, include your circle of associates. It might be your church. It might be uh, your general assembly of your Occupy group. Get their things and use, reuse, repurpose uh, the mer merchandise they get there. The next one is That says nonprofit. Sorry about my writing. The next thing is the corporate uh, paradigm is the wrong paradigm. You should be using as much as you can from the inner circles. If you can't, the next ring of circle is nonprofits. You uh, purchase, like for instance, from the farmer's market. Do that. Um, from uh, Goodwill. Do that. Because when Goodwill uh, reuses, repurposes, and it's a nonprofit corporation. After that, regional. Those are the local community organizations uh, that are profit or not profit that are closer to you. Um, it's like buy local, do local uh, as much as you can. So that's re, uh, regional stuff. Get it from around here. Like it, get it from your hometown. If you can't get it from your hometown, get it from the area close to you, uh, outside of your area. If you can't get it outside of your area, like the, the city that you're in, get it from the county you're in. If you can't get it from the county you're in, get it from the state that you're in. If you can't get it from the state that you're in, get it from the region that you're in. If you can't get it from the region you're in, I hope you don't need it. Uh, but if you do, that's when you go to the areas that are outside. Um, the next is, uh, is, is uh, your, your, your state. Or your country buy as much as you can from America uh, these are corporations and they're not good 
because that's the wrong paradigm. All these other things that you've seen in here, from this circle inward is good. From this circle outward is not, okay? Now, so you're gonna be getting regional, state, local, then set up what you uh, consider to be socially responsible. It's socially responsible purchasing, and that is just from those cor corporations that are doing things that are responsible. For instance, if you have to buy coffee, if, you have, if you're addicted to caffeine, you want to get the most socially responsible coffee that you can. Socially, that SRP is socially responsible purchases. As best you can, you want to be able to purchase things that are um, ethical and moral by whatever your standards are. This idea comes out of a, um, something called social responsibility in, investing, where you just invest in things um, that are uh, meeting your, your standards in terms of ethics and uh, being responsible with how you use your money. Okay? And also remember, inside of this circle, you're not using money. If you get to the point where you're using money, that's where you're getting to the outside of the circle. Okay? And then out, um, after, after you do that, that's this circle, then what you have left is all this stuff that is outside of the circle that you should not be doing at all, um, unless absolutely necessary. For instance, you should not be using any large bank because it is evil and outside of the circle. You should be doing your financial exchanges basically yourself, making your own stuff, changing with your family and your friends, um, using your circle of associates, and um, using non-profit corporations, and you don't get to using money until you get to the corporate structure. Note the, the link there. Corporations and cash usually means trash. Don't do it if you can't. If you can, if you can avoid doing it, you should avoid doing it. Outside of here is what is not responsible, what is not doing good business okay so as you, um, these are things like uh, like I just said banks you shouldn't be using banks you should be using credit unions instead you shouldn't be using credit unions you should be doing exchange with uh, your families and friends you shouldn't be doing that you should be making it and doing it yourself catch the idea folks catch the idea it's going with socially responsible purchases as much as you can so this same paradigm can be used the same uh, process that Covert Bailey came up for that I read years ago uh, can be used for other things as well as doing business. And maybe sometime in the future we'll do a video that does this for food or for political action. But that's what we're doing today is doing business. How to stay away from the corporate paradigm. Okay, Randy, thank you very much. You're welcome. Bye, everybody.